how to remove the billing address from your checkout and packet slip template hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how we can achieve this now there are going to be two parts for this video the first one is going to be removing it from the checkout so this one is actually fairly simple and it's not going to be um hard at all so let's just go ahead and get started uh to remove from your checkout first and then we can just move on to the packing um uh, slip or packet slip sorry uh so for checkouts you want uh, you want to go to the settings bar from the bottom left click on settings and then from here you basically want to locate the checkout option from your shopify uh store here so you will find it right here checkout so just feel free to click on checkout and then from here there are going to be a lot of customization options here to choose from for checkout including the billing which is going to be this address line to um uh, this is the best that we can do when it comes to billing so we can actually go ahead and click on don't include and now basically it's you know turned off for the checkout not only this but you can also see more stuff for example shipping address phone number you can also feel free to not include it or make it required uh, same goes for company name and also full name uh, aside from that there are going to be more options here from the top and the bottom so feel free to also look through them but basically the main thing which is the billing is this one right here so just go ahead and click on don't include and click on save at the top as you can see like so and this is going to be for the checkout uh, this is pretty much done here so we can exit out of here if this is not going to allow me to there you go let's just go ahead and check out whether uh it is saved or not yes it is so now this is step one which is for the checkout you basically removed it from here now for the packet slip you basically want to go for shipping and delivery settings so again just click on settings and click on shipping and delivery now this is going to require to delete a little bit of code so let's just go and first back up the code that we are about to remove uh, and basically you want to scroll down to almost the bottom where you'll find packing slips so just go in and click on packing slip template and then you will have this code uh, and if you just click on preview template on the top right you also will find the template itself and how it actually looks like with the billing address uh, and also more stuff here like the build too if you want to remove this is also a different thing here but we're trying to remove this at the bottom so which which is going to be your billing address anyways we can just go and exit out of here for the time being and basically what we want to do first is just go ahead and click on anywhere on the code and just do Control a or select all and just go ahead and copy it and then just go ahead and open up your desktop new text document name it backup this is just going to be creating a backup um, for the code just in case something went wrong and we don't really want to ruin it. So just go ahead and keep this somewhere safe. Uh, and we can just go ahead and move on now. So now what we need to do is basically um, we want to go back to, to this code and remove part of it, which is going to be down in 181 almost, the line number 181. If you just scroll down a little bit, you'll find this. Thank you for shopping with us. And then underneath, we can just remove pretty much everything that we don't need. So you will have the shop email. I highly recommend that you actually keep this. We also have the shop domain, which I highly recommend that you keep this again, because this is how people will be able to contact you or visit your website again. And then this is the one that we want to remove. So you just go in and highlight it and also highlight the BR on top of it and just hit delete and just remove the space in between. Uh, if you want to also remove the shop name, feel free to do so. And just go in and click on save and preview template just to show you that it actually worked once it actually saves there. And you can see now that we don't have the... Um, item that we want the billing anymore here and if you want to remove this you will also feel free to do so you can also do so by just going to the same line of code here and if you just go to the top and try to look for bill 2 uh, let's just go in and try to find real quick 
should be at the top. Let's just do control F and then just do bill space two. Hit enter and we found it. Okay, great. Oh no. Sorry about that. So again, just bill two, hit enter, and then we can just go ahead and exit out of it from this line here. Now this, we can feel free to actually remove this entire section if you actually would like to. You can just go ahead and completely remove it if you actually like and it's just going to be removed from the preview template section so this is pretty much all for this video hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching